I told you Bobby Labonte was moving just a little while ago. What a muscle move on the outside. Fastest qualifier here for the 500. Showing his muscle now. Three makes in the 500. Chevy, Pontiac, Ford. That's how they run. But Earnhardt has a benefit. There's a slow car up ahead. And there's he trouble coming off a of turn two. Some cars get strangled. It might be this. Whoever gets back to the start-finish line, they'll get the white and the yellow together. Lake Speed and John Andretti tangle as the leaders head for turn number three. Andretti and Spencer got together. This could be the Daytona 500. Bobby Labonte goes to the outside. Labonte up high. Earnhardt uses the left car of Rick Bass to the, as a pick. 20 years of trying, 20 years of frustration. Dale Earnhardt will come to the caution flag to win the Daytona 500. Finally, the most anticipated moment in racing. If John Elway can win the Super Bowl, Dale Earnhardt said he could win the Daytona 500. And if he comes around under caution to complete this final lap, the taste of long-awaited victory will be his. Wow, what a drive by Dale Earnhardt doing everything he had to do today. And Bobby Levine is saying, boy, I needed that last lap. At the top of the show, you saw the steely eyes of Dale Earnhardt. I'll bet they'll be tearful when he pulls into victory lane. Let me tell you, it'll make the strongest man on earth cry when you win this race. It's special. Bobby Labonte comes across the line to the caution flag in second. Jeremy Mayfield's Ford third. Kenny Schrader with a shot at that $2 million bonus, as did Bobby Labonte. Checkered flag. Dale Earnhardt finally is a champion of the Daytona 500. Larry McReynolds, for the second time in this great race, will go to victory lane, once with the late Davey Allison, and today with Earnhardt. The run to the caution flag from turn three. He came up on Rick Mass, Mick Mass moved to the inside, and that's all Earnhardt needed, buddy, was just some racetrack up there to run on. Yeah, you can see Bobby Labonte and Mayfield hitting as they come down towards the trioval, Mayfield, not quite. <laughs> There's the crew, Larry McReynolds and his team looking at Earnhardt. Big hug from Richard Childress, the car owner. What Dick a Berkman. chance to win the eighth championship. Momentum. Richard Childress, you have tried so hard, so long you have done it. What is it like to finally win the Daytona 500? Unbelievable, unbelievable. You know, this team this year, we took all winter, and I just I can't say enough about Dale Earnhardt, Jim Goodwrench has stood behind, and most of all, our race fans. Unbelievable. And there are people in this victory area that are in tears. They used to boo Dale Earnhardt when he was winning too much. That'll happen if you dominate any sport. But today, when they introduced the Intimidator, the crowd was full of cheers. I think everyone, if their favorite driver couldn't win the Daytona 500, they wanted to see this man drive to victory lane. Every man on every crew has come out to the edge of pit lane to congratulate the man who has dominated everything there is to win in this sport, except this race, until today. That's great. There was Todd Parrott, Dale Jarrett's crew chief, other members, other team members of other. Andy Petrie was there. And this will be the longest receiving line in the history of celebrations. <laughs> wow. Yep, I've never seen that, Mike. Not that many. You know, normally ever. we'll see two or three or four teams come out there, but this is something. Ned, I was going to say the same thing. I had about 10 teams come out when I won this one, but look at this. Everybody knows what it means to the man that's done everything to finally get the Daytona 500. There's Derek Colt, or rather uh, Ernie Irvin's crew. There's NASCAR officials out there. There's Robert Presley's crew. Ricky Craven's team. NASCAR officials. He's shaking everybody's hand, too, if you notice. 59 races since he's been to victory lane. 19 Daytona 500s. Twice he led at the white flag. 
and failed to take the checker in first place. But today belongs to the man who grew up at the corner of Coach and Sedan Street in Kannapolis, North Carolina, a mill town north of Charlotte, where he worked underneath that house in a garage on his own race cars and those of his father to become one of NASCAR's two greatest champions. He and Richard Petty, the only two drivers with seven Winston Cups on their trophy shelf. Mikey's a long way from Victory Circle yet, and the crowd's building. And Earnhardt, along with Bobby Labonte, Jeremy Mayfield, Rusty Wallace, and again, Ken Schrader, will have a shot at that R.J. Reynolds million-dollar bonus when they post it next time later this season. Last year at Darlington, South Carolina, some question. Earnhardt's ability to go 500 miles when he blanked out on the first lap at Darlington, South Carolina and had to climb from the car and go to the care center. Watch this circle. He's going to spin well, out. Ah, uh, there goes the grass. Yeah, goodbye. A smoke show. <laughs> well, the fellow who drives his craftsman truck, Ron Hornaday, likes to do when he celebrates a victory. And now look at that throng. Can he get to victory lane from here? He's going to have to have a lot of help from a lot of security people Come to get on, there, guys. it looks like. I Don't want worry. to hear what he has. Hart is the man who brought the Daytona 500 to CBS, Ken Squire. The 20-year quest is over. Gates have just opened for Dale Earnhardt in victory lane at Daytona. Here's his wife, Teresa, coming to speak to him. One for Dale Earnhardt, perhaps one for Neil Bonnet as well. About to ratchet himself out of this beautifully prepared car. He said patience was what it was going to take, and patience is what he gave it. All right, getting on the hat. He's waiting on this, and he's ready to clamber out. Ready to step out of car number three. The winner of the Daytona 500. Oh, going to have a drink of soda here. It's been a long time before refreshment here. All right, here he comes. Out of his car and listen to this. Two decades he's waited for this moment, and it's here, and everybody gets a bath. Dale. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. What a show. Yes. Here with Larry McReynolds and a big hug. And Richard Childress. Dale, how about that ride? How about it? Man, can you, can you believe it? For one, got an awesome race car, but for two, thank good Lord for a good day. This race car did everything. The good Lord looked after it all day long. Good wrench. This is for all them race fans and all them people have been saying, Dale, this is your year. Dale, this is your year. And boy, a lot of them said it this year. All the way from Mr. France, all the way down to... Todd Parrott and all the guys on the team. The Daytona 500 is ours. We've won it. We've won it. We've won it. And everybody took a shot at you at the end. Uh, I don't care who was taking shots at me. I was driving, driving the mirror more than was the front. But uh, you know, I tell you, these great sponsors, these great people that's worked with us and give us everything we need to win with. This is a good race car. The Spinny Clinton. Hey, David. Congratulations on your baby. And and. Uh, Larry McReynolds, Spindy Clinton, Richard Childers, we got one heck of a race team. We're going to win a championship this year. One for Dale and one for Teresa, one for Neil Bonnet, two today. Well, one for a lot of people, T. Wayne Robinson and, uh, uh, you know, old Neil Bonnet, my dad, everybody that's been in racing has been my friend that taught me, taught me so much, that touched my life. You, there's so many of them, I can't thank them all. My mom, thank you, Mom. She, I know she's back home. Dale Jr., hope you're not too sore. Carrie and Kelly, I love y'all. Uh, you've touched a lot of people here today, and we'll be back for the trophy present.